This is a Toshiba Core i3 laptop satellite and I'm going to restore it to factory default out of box state and I just have the power adapter and the battery plugged in as you see it is a Core i3 and this should work for most newer Toshibas with um, Windows 7 that haven't already been wiped or reloaded um, with using a disk or by another professional or something so let's begin so I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and as the computer boots up I'm going to hit F12 and it's going to bring me to this screen here and all we're going to do is go down towards HDD recovery and hit enter pretty simple it's going to give us this message it's going to hit enter again it's going to begin It's going to appear that it's, it's reload that it's um, booting into Windows, but that's not the case. The Windows um, operating system is actually corrupted, and it won't even boot on this particular machine. I've already backed up the files. I took the hard drive out using a device such as that and backed up the files. So um, this is just asking me to um, that it it's just from warning me again with a big old warning sign, and as I will warn you also if you haven't removed all your data, you need to do so before doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, and it's just telling you to um, recover to out of um, box state, which this is the best way to do it here. You can also do it this way here. But um, let's say if you have a virus or something like that, all this will do is basically throw that virus right back onto your computer. So this is the best way to do it right here. This is the first option. Out of box state. So I'm going to go ahead and click. What is it actually here? So it's just telling me that um, it's going to recover to out of box state with system recovery options are included. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next again. And it's going to delete the partitions, which is fine. That's what I want. And it's going to begin. Now this process will take anywhere in the neighborhood from Lordy. Um, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to an hour. It depends on the op, the all, all the other add-ons that um, Toshiba will will have in the background. You know, all their special little utilities, which... Um, you don't really need, but you know, their little special software such as game, game configuration and just a whole bunch of little stuff that they like to put on. That's what actually takes the longest because the actual Windows 7 reload only takes about 30 40 minutes, if that, if that, sometimes quicker than that. But, um, so it, it's just going to ask you for a few basic things like your wire, net, network wireless password the time and date of um, where you at in the um, US and um, you should really be good to go from there and it's going to ask you if you want to use their um, antivirus and things of that nature um, and that'll be it and you should be right back and to um, where you need to be and you should be able to use your computer again. This is Robert, YouTube user big on you uh, with GenX Computers and if you have any questions go ahead and post to this, um, this um, video here and I myself or someone else will be m more than kind enough to answer your question and help you out. Give some time, you know we're not actually watching this um, minute by minute but usually within a few days or a day or so someone will usually respond and help you out i've seen people go over and behind over and above with helping other users out um really nice friendly community here so um thanks for watching please hit like or subscribe if you like the video and uh, take care it's reloading just gonna have, go ahead and hit finish obviously
and now it's about to begin reloading all the crapware basically the Toshiba software and things of that nature.